But based on the temperature outside, but it is fall. And as we await that brisk autumn air to return, our friends at Indie Mom's blog put together a fall bucket list. Here to go over some of the items on that list is blog contributor Christy Howard Schultz. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for having us. So one of the first things is right up my alley that you mentioned because anytime we start to finally get that cool weather, mm -hmm. and if it's kind of a gray, gloomy day, mm -hmm. and like I need something warm, comfort food, and you're saying, Make some chili. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel like it, like you said today, but it's something that you don't get all summer long. Um, you know, my husband and I, every year we used to host an It's Getting Chili party where we invited everyone to contribute their own chili. Oh, um, that's fun. Yeah, so it's it's great. Uh, you get a lot of ideas. It's a good excuse to get together before the holidays, the madness of all the holidays. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. And then you have your recipe. You can pick one for your next cook-off because chili travels well also. Uh, very good point. Yeah, that is, and this time of year does go so quickly because once we get into November, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. the holidays, it's hard to see people. So, yes, very good idea. Um, had, we were just talking in the break about all the pumpkin patch fun there is yes. to be had, and there are several options around town. Yes, yeah. So um, I like to check and see which ones have free days if you're available to go on free days. Um, you can't always do that, but sometimes like a Monday, a day that's not as popular might be free, so check it out. Um, Stony Creek has free Mondays. There are other ones as well. And as you talked about during the break, some even have pet days. Yes. So <laughs> you can bring your pet to the to the corn maze or uh, uh, what other whatever other activities the pumpkin patch might have yeah dog mom here so <laughs> I like to look at for uh, pet related activities and th that's a fun one too because you can really split that into two days mm -hmm. of activities you get the pumpkin and then later yeah. you have fun with that pumpkin at home that's right you're probably worn out by the time you actually get it Everyone's right. ready to <laughs> melt down so but the next day you're right you can take your pumpkin home and carve it in any way you want uh, now there are tons of creative ideas on Pinterest but um, old school uh, two triangle eyes and some crooked teeth. Um, and then you can take all the guts and, and make a recipe, uh, clean them up and have some roasted pumpkin seeds. And there's a recipe in the blog for that. Oh, there you go. And do you happen to know if that recipe is sweet or savory? Because I, I don't, I don't know. know if it's sweet or savory. Okay. So another Look contributor contributed to this post, but yeah. Check out that recipe because you can do a lot. I never knew. We always did just like brown sugar and cinnamon on yes. them as kids. And there's a lot you can do with pumpkin seeds. Yes. We'll go gourmet. <laughs> we have one of the top fall destinations, I would argue, in the country, and it's in our backyard. That's right. Um, and actually, my son and I just went and visited. So Brown County State Park, the foliage obviously uh, yes. is beautiful. We're not quite there yet, but there's so many activities to do. And you can see the foliage from your car, from a zip line, from the top of a fire tower. So depending on how adventurous you and your family are feeling, um, it's a great place to spend all day, if not all weekend. And there's so many fun things to do on the way there. Um, I love to stop and have the fudge in Nashville. Um, there's a TC Steel Museum there and all sorts of things along the way, so. That's awesome. Yeah, that you can do an entire day, mm -hmm. a weekend if you want mm -hmm. it, but it's an easy there and back. Trip, yes, so. that's right. That's right. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank These are some you. really good ideas. Is there anything that we missed that um, you said? The oh, only other thing, so this. Aaron's post has a lot of free ideas and some okay. ideas cost. So the only other thing that I recommend is anywhere you go, check and see if they have admissions discounts. If you are an educator yourself or you work for a school, a state employee, check it out. Um, it's worth it. It saves you and your family some money. Definitely pack a snack. Nobody likes a hungry tourist uh, and yeah. the kids melt down and so you need that. And then check the calendar because there are special days that each of these places have and so you don't want to go on a day where it's too crowded or where they're yeah. closed for something special and you drove all the way there with your family. So yeah. Really good tips. Okay, thanks again so much. Thank and you. Enjoy your season. Yes, you too. Okay. You too. Thank thanks. you so much. Scott.